Well, hello, and today I'm going to give you another pressure cooker recipe, sort of, or just a way of cooking something in, in the pressure cooker, and it's something that a lot of people over my lifetime have told me they don't like, and I don't believe them, because I think people don't like beets because they've only ever had them out of a can. So I'm going to make a beet lover out of you. Yes, I am, because beets are so quick in the pressure cooker. They take a long time in the oven, and that's not what we always want to do. But in the pressure cooker, it's no big deal. I'm going to cut them off of their stalks here, just like this. I'm not even going to peel them. I'm going to cook them just like this. I've given them a nice little wash, but that's all you have to do. The trickiest part is just finding a steamer insert to go inside your pressure cooker. This is the one that I'm using if it's inside nicely, and that's just to elevate the beets off of the bottom of the cooker. So in they go. Sometimes I cut off their little tails like that. Sometimes I put them on plates where children are about to eat and scare them and tell them it's a little rat tail or something. But that's only when I'm being immature. And today I'm maturely cooking beets in the pressure cooker. So they are in their steamer basket in the pressure cooker, and I'm going to add about two cups of water, just like that. I'm going to season them with a little bit of salt, because I always do, and I'm going to put the lid on. Now, you don't have to use water when you're actually steaming the beets. You could do something flavorful. Sometimes I put orange juice in the bottom, and that gives the beets this beautiful orange flavor. Today I'm actually going to put the orange flavor on after they've finished cooking, but this is how easy it is. I'll put that on the airtight mode, and then I'm going to set my time. Instead of taking 45 minutes in the oven, these are just going to take me 15 minutes in this pressure cooker. So I'm going to set this to 15, and then I'm going to press start. That's how easy it is. Then I can get the rest of my ingredients together, and I'll show you how we can do that. Okay, we wanted to have some flavor of orange in there, so I'm going to zest and juice this orange. When you zest an orange, you want to get just the peel, not any of the pith underneath. So if you have a very sharp knife, you can do it like this, and then we're going to slice this up at the end. We also want a little basil or any kind of fresh herb, really. You can use mint, basil, tarragon is really nice. You could put chives in. Even parsley is good. I'm just going to slice this up nicely, just like that, and set that aside and wait. Okay, the pressure cooker cooked our beets and the timer went off and I did a quick release on that by using the exhaust valve and I let it cool for a minute because they're really hot. But they're sitting in there. I poked them with a knife to make sure that they are beautiful and tender. I'm going to leave that strainer in there for now because it's got all that red beet stuff on it. But what I'm going to do is sort of take one out and put it onto a piece of aluminum foil. The reason I do this is because, yes, I do like to get my hands dirty with food and I do um, like the feeling of food, but sometimes, you know, that red can get overwhelming. So it does stain your hands. Here I'm just taking a paring knife and I'm peeling that peel away. You see what I'm doing? Peeling that peel away from the beet so that it comes off so beautifully. Look at that. Just easy, easy, easy. Remember, you have to let this cool. These ones are a little bit piping hot right now. But I'm gonna do that woo, to all the beets. It's slippery too. And then I'm going to show you how to flavor them beautifully. Okay. Okay, cut. Uh, everything up into little pieces and yes I did get a little bit of staining on my hands but that just proves that you're a cook right people say wow she really worked hard today she peeled all those beets so be proud of your beet stains there they are looking beautiful all cut up now we get to flavor them remember we did the orange zest so I'm going to sprinkle some orange zest on them I'm going to put that orange juice on them beautiful and then I'm going to flavor it with a little bit of balsamic now this time I'm going to use white balsamic just because I don't really want to muddy up the color of the beets. Just sprinkle a little balsamic on, add a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, and they will be good to go. Just get a spoon, toss them around, and give them a little 
case. Now, it's great if you can put the orange juice and the vinegar on while they're still warm because it helps absorb that flavor right into the heart of the beet. I'm going to taste it and get even more red fingers. Mm. Oh, beets are so delicious. They're earthy and fragrant. And, and when they're cooked like this, such a beautiful texture. Uh, I'm gonna make, make you do this. I want you to try it. If after you taste them this way, you still don't like them, then I'll let you say you don't like beets. But until you've tried them this way, forget it. I don't even wanna hear it, okay? But look at this. How sweet. What a nice little appetizer plate. Or if you want a nice light dinner, have a little bit of pita bread with that. Okay, and P.S., don't forget to add that basil or whatever green herb you're using. It does make a difference.